Whether it's really the girl with the attitude, what I think is the right modern attitude of a clever woman. Five-year-old Stella Tennant has gone from being an unknown art student to a modeling sensation in about as much time as it takes Carl Lagerfeld to flick his fans. Recently selected by Carl himself as the new face of Chanel, Tennant's success is as much due to the enormous influence Lagerfeld wields in the fashion world as the unconventional image she projects. Carl loves her, right? <laughs> Chanel loves her. She's got that kind of 90s look, which is a, a look that says, to hell with everything. There's something about her, her attitude that suggests um, a certain amount of laxness, almost like not caring. She's just sort of like a badass kind of girl. I'm waiting for the sun to shine. While she may have the hard-edged look of a street urchin, Stella actually comes from a very privileged background. On one side, her grandparents are the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire. On the other, the Lord and Lady Glen Connor. Yet all the aristocratic blue blood in the world can't really help a gal out on the runway when she doesn't quite look like a typical high-priced fashion model. Was that something that you were conscious of or that perhaps was an obstacle to you um, at any well, point? I mean, it it was a bit of an obstacle at the beginning, in a way, because uh, I was kind of the, the freak for a little bit. Things have kind of changed since then. But what happens? I mean, all of a sudden, you just feel this acceptance and everything's everything feels all right? Well, you know, fashion changes. I mean, that's the whole point of fashion. So you come in and you're... You're a new face, and, and you look quite different to a lot of the, the girls who are working at a particular time. And then, like you said, you know, you get used to seeing somebody's face, and things become familiar, and then people's perception changes as well. It's, that's just how it works, I think. got a first-hand look at Stella's newfound acceptance on her recent whirlwind visit to Toronto, where over a couple of days she posed for the cover of a fashion magazine, starred in a Chanel fashion show, and submitted herself to a barrage of media interviews. The fact is, you know, that to be handpicked by Lagerfeld to be the face of Chanel, the new Inez de la Frossange or whatever, yeah. I mean, he doesn't do this very often, so what does it no. bestow upon you? Well, I mean, it's an ex extremely flattering thing to be asked to do. Do you feel like you're under pressure when you're actually out there? Well, I know that... No, not when you're out there. That's the relaxing part, yeah. is when you're out there. When you're back here and you know that you've got some very fiddly little buttons to do and you've got 20 of them and you've got a fast change, that's when you get a bit, a bit anxious. Do you ever feel like you're getting to act out childhood fantasies or...? <laughs> Well, I never played with dolls when I was young, but, um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely a fancy element. Yeah. 